money just changed everything. Looking down from the top and it's crowded below. My 15 minutes started an hour ago. Truth over fame, you know I respect the relationship. When I hear him talking, I just don't know what to make of it. Hate is so familiar to me, I'm slowly embracing it. Does it come natural? Bear with me if you take a bit. Yeah, I'm my dreams I'm walking. Strike whenever you stuck with me. Damn, I kept my wits in my feet long to leave. What happened between us? Now all of a sudden, he's got the grades. You know what I mean? Making it seem like it happened and wake up to me. But I was curious. And I never picked up the fact that you were that mysterious. But it wasn't that serious. It was more than that. Boy, that was me clearing it.
Hi, Jig. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Another amazing day here in our lives. You all want to put some things that you're grateful for. If you thought of anything new that you're grateful for, realized anything since the New York session that you're grateful for, happy to share it. Happy to share it. Happy to share it. Let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Sweet. Get this stuff situated. All right. Fantastic. What is popping, everybody? Grateful to be alive and present. Grateful to be here. It's another amazing day. Traded within our risk. Woke up, drank some great water. Surrounded by amazing people. Got up and started moving this morning. That's what I want to talk about. Um, Energy Accelerator, number four. Happy to be here. Oh my goodness, we are here. We are in the building. It is happening. It's on impossible. It is on and popping. It is on and popping. All right, cool. So um, today, you know, I love y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Do not let me be the first person to tell you I love you. Okay? Just tell yourself. All right? Definitely tell yourself. One of the first things in the morning, you know, I love you. Start off your day strong. Hey, when I wake up, I get up. When I wake up, I get up. All right? One of the hardest things in the mornings is to get up and get out of bed all right that first 15 minutes is the hardest every single morning you know it's like you feel the most resistance right when you're waking up your body's got to wake up you got to get some water in your system you gotta use the restroom i mean going out and getting some sun helps but it's like man still you know sometimes 5 10 15 20 minutes you might be awake but it's like before your body actually feels like you're up right before you actually feel like you're present in the moment it takes a little minute but you know, we got to start to get up. We got to move. And if we don't ever start that, we can never build the momentum. 
right? So um, one of the things I've been telling myself is when I wake up, I get up, right? When I wake up, I get up. When I wake up, I get up. And it's been helping. And the last week, yeah, well, the last nine days, uh, when I've got, I've set my alarm, you know, my lady told me to do this because she notices my, my bad habits. I set my alarm next to the bed or my phone next to the bed. So I've been setting my phone off across the room. So now when my alarm goes off, I gotta wake up, go across the room. And, uh, yeah, I know that's true love, right? She'll call me out on my, my, my stuff. Uh, like, man, set your phone over there. So now when I wake up, I gotta get up out of bed and over there. And it's just hard for me to get back in the bed. Like, I know I'm tired and stuff, but I'm like, look, everything's happening for me. Like all the opportunities that I, you know, the journal that I closed last night, it's here to be opened again. You know, the computer we shut down, it's here to be opened again, right? So what we're doing is just picking up where we left off yesterday. One of the biggest things that helped my life was not looking at life from a day to day, like from day to day to day to day, week after week after week, month after month. You know, it seems kind of repetitive, seems kind of mundane. Like we are in one continual experience and we are continuing to grow through that experience. Yesterday's not the same as today. This Monday is not the same as last Monday, right? The only reason that they broke it up into days and time and stuff like that was, you know, for the farmers originally, that's why we have daylight savings time in the fall time and in the spring, right? To help the farmers with their crops and everything. And then we started to have time and then to go down the rabbit hole for like business, right? It's just another way to keep us locked in. Another thing to keep us down, you know? But when we think of our life as one big experience, I get to continually live this life that is here happening for me, right? It's not just like another Monday, like, oh, blah, like, this is a completely new day, right? This is a completely new day, right? How many days has it been since Thursday, July 1st, 1993? 10,224 days ago. Why am I still living like last Monday? 10,224 days I've been alive on this planet, but yet people get stuck and we get stuck in the mindset that, oh, it's another Monday. It's not another Monday. Today's day 10,000, right? What did it say? 10,224? We're not living the same, right? We're just simply not living the same, right? We can choose. Because making a, damn, that's deep. making a decision again today is a new decision to continually live in the past. Like doing the same things that we're doing today is just a decision to continue, right? How we've been living in the past. So today's a new day. Do new things. Move differently. Everything is happening in your favor, right? And so when we're able to like just continue the process, start moving, right? Start moving. Just start moving. We know this, that when price starts moving, like, right, it's going to continue to move. It's going to continue to expand, right? We might need to go, go, go do a workout, and then we might need to take a break for a minute, right? But we continue to move forward, right? We continue to move forward. So, like, realistically, I mean, let me see here. We are in an amazing place. Let me pull up. Okay, fantastic. We're in an amazing place, like, right now, just where we're at. And the thing is, this Monday, what I was thinking about, and this world go with it, just keep moving, right? Keep moving this Monday, keep moving, keep things in your favor, right? Keep moving, keep taking that action, keep going forward, keep on keeping on, you know what I'm saying? Like you are here for a reason, like your life is happening for you. Every single thing and every single like day is happening for you. Is that Janelle that just hopped in? Is that Janelle? What's up, man? What's up, Janelle? Hey, look, so the homie Janelle, hey. You know what I mean? Yo, hey, I just passed my man. second MTMO, man. Hey, I'm happy for you. Yesterday, bro, literally. Happy for you. That's what's up. So, <laughs> so to give y'all a little backstory, my man was moving, right? Me and my man's, like, we met in Trade House, right? We met last year in Trade House. You know, we were, we met up, right? We lived in California. He lived about 30 minutes away from where I was, but he was able to help me with some of the furniture deliveries I was doing. It was me and my homies, the, the furniture moving business that we had. So I would drive the truck and Janelle would be helping me, right? So we took the time to move, right? He moved and was like, hey, man, I need an opportunity. Hey, I'm trading. I'm looking for something else. Boom. Me and him were able to link up, right? He was moving in his own way. Now he's got some FTMO accounts. But now what happened last week? We were talking about this group. He's like, man, 
like, I see y'all winning. Uh, I'm doing my own thing, but like, I want to get involved with the group just because I love being around good energy. I want to be around more like-minded individuals. And so what did he do? He made the move to get joined in and he just got linked in yesterday. So we're making moves, you know what I'm saying? We're around people who are making moves. It doesn't matter if you're making a move to get a funded account. It doesn't matter if you're making a move to move your stop loss up after it, you know, break structure makes another higher low and then breaks that high and then you move your stop loss up. It doesn't matter what kind of moves you're making, right? It doesn't matter if you're making a move to go buy a printer like we talked about, go buy a book like we talked about. Just make a move, make some type of move and the moves that we need to make are calculated, right? We see what we can do for ourselves and we move forward, right? Just talking, talking to my lady yesterday, we had a, a list, all right? I was writing down this list and this list was, I was like, babe, you know, there's a bunch of different things I want to get done during the day. And like, you know, I got them on this list here, right? So during the day, these are like different things we want to get done, you know, giving thanks, talking to some family, doing an exercise, creating content, trade the New York session, make some posts for social media, respond to DM messages, journal my life, different things like that. And we were talking about how sometimes it can get overwhelming because life might not go our way. Life might not happen. There might be a series of events today to where like timing isn't exactly the same. And so it's like, dang, it's kind of hard to do that sometimes. Or maybe we might have missed it. Or like we wanted to do this from nine to nine thirty or from two to two thirty. But like I didn't even get free time until three. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, dang, sometimes. And what's it come down to? Because of our mindset that we are holding ourselves to this high standard. Hey, I have to get done everything on my list. You know what I mean? And so uh, everybody does that, you know what I mean? I've done that, she's done that, y'all done that. We write this list to where I can be my best self. I can see all these different things that can get me to my goals. Like, that's amazing. And it's great to have it. If we don't hit it all, that's fine, right? Look at it as this is all the opportunities that I can have to improve my life, to get my mind back on where I'm, where I am at, you know, like in the future thinking from, right, get my mind back on that good energy, that higher vibration, so use it as like a template, you know what I mean, and we had a real good conversation about that, and uh, we were in the car driving, real good conversation, because it's like, sometimes we have a super high standard, even for ourselves, sometimes we have a super high standard that we want to get to, and we need, and we think that we need to take all this movement, right, and then sometimes we don't realize like we are moving. <laughs> sometimes we feel like we need to take all this movement because we see places that we want to go. And yet, instead of being grateful that our mind is now picking up on all these things that we can do to get there, we're thinking, oh my God, I'm not doing all of them. Like, be happy that you're doing some of them, bro. Be happy that you got a list made. Be happy that your mind's being aware of it now. Be happy and just start writing it all down. And then if you got some time, hit this one. You got some more time, hit that one. You realize that you got three, four different things on your list that have to do with being on your phone. Cool, maybe you can knock out an hour and just be on your phone and then hit all that other stuff afterwards. Like, it's powerful what we can do when we start breaking it down. It's powerful what we can do when we stop holding ourselves to like a super high standard. And that means that we have to get all of it done every single day. Like that doesn't bring us to happiness. You know what I mean? Like we were talking, her and I were talking about how it's amazing that we can even see these things. It's amazing that we even have the opportunity to be able to grow and learn and do more for ourselves, right? What we talk about the other day, the mindset, the mind freedom, you see other people being FTMO funded, you see other people winning, you see other people doing things. If you heard Janiel just hop on just now and say, hey, hey, I got my second FTMO account funded. How did that make you initially feel? Did you initially feel happy? Did you initially feel in lack? Damn, I don't have mine. Did you initially feel some type of way? That shows you immediately where your mindset's at because we're happy and grateful that we're surrounded by winning individuals. We're happy and grateful that we're surrounded by people whose mindset is open. We're happy and grateful that we're surrounded by people who are just doing it, who are shooting their shot. It does not matter if you make that or not, bro. I would be happy to be on a team with people who have zero for one instead of zero, instead of nil, instead of nothing, instead of no shot at all. I would rather be on a team 10 people on this call, 10 people who are zero and one, then 10 people who didn't shoot their shot. You know what I'm saying? Because we're doing it. We're moving forward. We're happy to be in this environment. You know what I mean? Like we're happy to be involved with other winning individuals. We're tapping into the mastermind. We're being open to new things happening for us. And we're taking that action. We're taking that movement. So like today, you know what I mean? Don't matter how big, 
you know, how big your movement is. Never stop shooting. Like, like Jason just said now in the chat, never stop shooting a shot. It doesn't matter what kind of shot it is. Three pointer, a little free throw, you know what I mean? A little layup. It don't matter. You can win the game on layups. You can win a baseball game just hitting singles over and over and over and over and over again. Right. You can win a baseball game by just hitting singles over and over and over again. Yeah, somebody can come up to the plate and hit a grand slam. But how often does that really happen? Right. We take amazing trades all the time. But are you trying to like, are you only going to be happy if you hit a one to ten? Like, are you only going to be happy when you get funded? Like, are you only going to be happy when you are retired? Like, are you only going to be happy? You know what I mean? Because then that little euphoria is going to last like about that long. Because you got it. That's cool. We're going to spend it. We're going to have it. But like, just like we talked about the other day, you still got to live your life. You still got it. You get all that money. You still got to live for weeks and months to spend it. You can't just desire to get somewhere. Desire to get that new car. Cool. Like, are you going to be happy just sitting in it? No, you got to live for days and months, weeks, you know, days, weeks, months, so that you can experience that car. So you can go drive that car. Right. So just think about the movement today. Think about what, what, what you're doing. You know, thinking about what type of action we're trying to take today. Think about what type of movement, right? Let's do this today, all right? Um, the type of movement that we're going to make, take one thing that you're going to do today. It doesn't matter if it's a thing that you're always doing. It doesn't matter if it's a new thing. Take one thing that you're going to do today. If it's making yourself food, even if it's journaling, even if it's screenshotting your trade today, even if it's taking a screenshot of your MetaTrader 4 history for yourself in the future, type in the chat one thing that you're going to do today, all right, to move forward. One thing that you're going to do today to move forward. All right, we're going to put that in the chat. I'm going to put mine in the chat. One thing today we're going to do to move forward. One thing today, Andrew said, journal my trades, read 10 pages of a book. Boom, I like that. I like that. Back test, finish a short story, A. Reading and journaling, that's what's up. Reading, cool, 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 cool. Reading, reading 10 pages, sun gaze one hour, headstand for one hour. I'm with it. Going to play ball, bet. Okay, cool. We're going to meditate. That's what's up. I'm going to put, I am going to All right, cool. I'm going to journal my trades and read, boom, for 10 minutes straight. Oh, okay, sorry for the all caps. Uh, journal my trades, focus on my emotions before and after. Perfect, 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 perfect. So this is what's up, you know what I mean? So, so this is it, you know what I mean? This is lit, man. I'm so happy for y'all. I'm so happy. Look at everybody. I'm called this morning. This is all the things we're going to do today. Hey, y'all lit. I love it. Hey, so take a movement, take an action, right? This is, this is the thing that's going to keep our energy high, right? Taking action is going to keep our energy high, okay? It's going to keep us feeling good, all right? Keeping our energy high and keep us feeling good. Now, the second part, feeling good, all right? You start taking action, something might happen, and it might not make you feel the best initially. But where does that come back to? The mindset, right? So if we're open to opportunities, we're open to new things happening to us, right? Then we'll be open to the results of whatever comes in, right? The results of whatever comes in from us taking action is supposed to either teach us something. I mean, we're going to make some money or we're going to learn something. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you're going to gain strength. You're going to like, you're going to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to improve. There's nothing that can happen like like bad to you, really. You know, like it's all happening for you. It's helping to teach you something. It's helping to learn. You know, you're going to learn from it. So, so take the opportunity to move forward. Be open to learn, right? Movement is so key. 
right? Movement is so key. If the body doesn't move, the body will start to have disease, right? Everything that's in motion stays in motion, right? We got to keep moving, okay? You got to keep moving. And so one thing, this is kind of a devil's advocate, right? How do you feel about what you're doing? When you're moving, it's very easy to get it twisted because we don't need to move in order to get to our goals, right? We move to make ourselves better people. We move to help ingrain certain skills, but we don't have to do something and work, 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 back test, back test, get on the computer, journal, journal, journal. I don't have to read, 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 read. I don't have to, you know, go out and just work out, work out, work out, work out. Like, I don't need to do something in order to be something, right? We're doing these things because they make us feel good about where we're already at in our mind, right? We know that we're gonna be that funded trader, right? We know we're gonna be a lady boss sniper. We know that we're gonna be super educated with our emotion, right? We know that we're gonna have our short story finished. We know that we're gonna be an author, right? We know that we're an amazing father, an amazing parent. We know that we're gonna be helping build businesses, right? We're doing the things right now so that when these things come into our existence, right? We can continue to be the best version of that because we love it so much, right? She loves trading so much, she's going to back test, right? So that she can have more and more for better performance, so she can have more and more euphoria, more and more just good experiences on the chart. She's setting herself up for success, right? We're setting ourselves up for success for, by reading, right? We're setting ourselves up for more success by reading. We're setting ourselves up in the future, right? To be a healthy person, okay? I know that I'm going to need to speak to people. I know I'm going to need to be up. I know I'm going to need to be having a baby. I know I'm going to need to be out and about. I know my physical is going to help me in life, right? I enjoy my life, so therefore I work out so I can continue to have energy so that I can continue to, you know, go out and maybe eat what I want to eat and it doesn't have as effect on my body. I can continue to live the life I want to live. That's why I do the things that I do. She loves to trade. That's why she loves to back test. That's why she back tests, right? Because it's something that she actually likes to do. She's not doing it because doing that is going to make her that person. She understands that she is that person and therefore back testing is something that she would be doing with her time to continue to sharpen her mental skill, right? So we might see different things in different areas of our life where we could move or the benefit, but realize that like, we don't have to just read. You don't have to just go and like watch a video and like, that's gonna make you the trader. Yeah, it's gonna make you a better trader, but you, I'm only saying you, like I'm looking at myself in the camera here, but like we are traders, we are healthy, we are, businessmen, women, we are entrepreneurs, all right? So therefore we're just doing these different things. Like all these different things on my list, like all of you guys would enjoy doing them as well. I mean, writing our life goals, like, you know, doing this energy accelerator, saying thank you, right? I release what does not serve me. Thank you for everything that does. Thank you for more that does serve me. Like talking to more people, like doing an exercise, like you guys would enjoy these things as well because like we're all multifaceted successful people in different ways. So continue to just think about how you can move in ways that keeps the momentum going, right? Move in ways that keeps the momentum going right? Move in ways that keeps the momentum going. If we start to see or understand things that, you know, starts to slow our momentum, that's where the journaling comes in. That's where we understand, okay, this wasn't necessarily serving me, but we're moving in ways that serves us every single day, right? Because we know we're already these people. We know that we're already successful. We know that everything's happening for us and our entire universe is shifting for our benefit, right? So take that action. You want to go work out? Do that workout. You want to go read a book? Read that book. But don't necessarily do it so where you feel like you got to get somewhere. Do it because you're enjoying becoming a better person, because you know how to read, because you know how to take in information, because you know how to communicate, because you know how to do these things, because you're improving your skills, you're going to have a better life, 
Like whether it's a, talking to somebody when you're out and about, whether it's an interaction with somebody at a restaurant, whether it's like somebody on social media, whether it's interacting with somebody like a friend or somebody of the opposite sex, like because you're improving yourself, because you're improving your body, because you're improving your mind, like you're being the best person that you can be like for yourself and for the world. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know the situations and the experiences that are going to come about or the people that are going to cross our paths. But because we're doing what we're doing, we're able to shine our light to other individuals. And by doing what you feel like you should do for yourself to continue to grow, you're able to shine a brighter light. And you're just going to attract people that need your light, right? You're just going to attract people that need your light. And the people that need your light you need it. Like if, if I'm a light in the darkness, if I'm a light and I have no place to shine, then what good is my light? Like that's the whole, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody's there to hear it, like it, does it really make a sound? If you're thinking about moving in a way, like moving with the text message to send to somebody, if you're thinking about moving to clear a blockage within yourself, moving to talk to a family member, moving to talk to a friend, moving to do something within yourself, moving to do a workout that you've never done, like Boy, girl, y'all do that. Y'all need to do that. We need to do that. We need to continue to do the things. Because we can impact other people. Like, we can impact, you know, other people. That's great. But, like, us, by doing what we do, by taking those movements, by releasing the blockages within ourselves, yeah, we can impact other people. Yeah, we can go out here and we can live a great life. But, like, you are doing what you need to do for yourself. And it comes back to that. Be your own best. Do what you can do for yourself so that you get your mind, everything aligned, right? So that then you can be the best that you can be. Execute the best on the charts. Execute the best with your family, your friends, you know, at the gym, like at your job, like whatever you need to do, you can then therefore go and be the best that you can be, right? So just taking that action, taking those movements, right? We got a, we got a long list here of different things that people said that they're gonna do today. A couple of people joined in. Um, we wrote a list in the chat of different things that we were gonna do today. Little actions, to take movement, right? Take action today. It doesn't have to be huge. Doesn't have to go run 10 miles. Boy, put them shoes on and go run around a damn block. You know what I mean? Go read one page in that book, build some momentum, right? It doesn't have to be super huge, big, right? You wanna shoot for the gusto? It's mainly your ego talking. Just get up and run around the block. Come back inside. You're going to feel happy. You know, just keep doing you, right? Keep doing you. Let's see. She said thousands. Oh, yeah. We have this on a, on a picture right here. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single flame, and the life of that flame will not be shortened. Happiness doesn't decrease by being shared. Y'all hear that? Thousands of candles can be lit by a single flame. And the life of that flame will not be shortened. Happiness doesn't decrease by being shared. Sheesh. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Happiness does not decrease by being shared. People over here wondering if they should do this, wondering if they should do that. Like, you know, I don't always have the best energy, but after I'm off these calls, I feel phenomenal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After I send a little voice message, I feel great. You know, after I just simply go outside, like I just go outside and say thank you. Like literally movement, like movement, movement, movement is literally like energy is in motion. If something's not in motion, all right? You gotta take that action. Taking that action can be going outside saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. Thank you for my life. You know, like smile, dog, like like literally, like, like everybody right now, literally everybody. I don't care if your camera's not on, smile, smile. Like show them teeth, you know what I'm saying? Like smile, yeah, boy, smile. Hey, you are gonna feel better when you smile. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you, it don't matter if you back test for ten hours today. If you read the whole book, if you read the next book too, or if you just smile a little bit, one little like that. That's all it takes. Movement, right? Movement. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I think my internet. Y'all still hear me? Y'all still hear me? Okay, cool. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a big move. It doesn't matter if it's a small move, right? Taking movement, taking action, taking movement into a different light, right? Little moves, big moves, it don't matter. Just keep your energy up. 
Do the things to keep bringing you back, right? To source. Do the things that keep bringing you back to where you should be, right? Smile. Just smile, smile, smile. Say thank you. Do these little things, right? So, so that's where we at with it, you know. Um, movement, you know, movement, movement, movement. Um, tell you what, if somebody wants to unmute themselves, say something that they picked up on, say something they want to do today. Um, that's cool too. Somebody wants to put something in the chat, something they kind of took away, another talking point. Um, I can keep going with this movement, but I wanted to I want to give y'all like an opportunity if y'all want to say something. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, bro. So one thing is funny, like talking about movement, I'm a big fan of Bruce Lee, big fan. And <clears throat> one of his famous quotes is be like water, you know, just, just continually, continually flow. You know, water crashes, it ebbs, it flows, but no matter how, how much water, no matter what water will always deteriorate everything over time. It's just like you it's just continually, you move, you just do it. You just do it. You just do it. Eventually you're going to break those goals. You're going to break those milestones that you've been trying to break. You're going to do everything that you've been trying to do with yeah. you. You're going to, your water level, you may think that you need to be denser. You may think that you need to be more than what you already are. You, you are who you are, accept that. But who you can be, you need to accept that version of yourself now. Because you can be the top 1% of whatever level you're at, but you will always be in the bottom 80% of the next level, which is why you need to just give it time and continually push forward. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. And that's it, man. Because it's like, I, I was telling that to my buddy the other day, and somebody somebody told it to me, like, about two or three weeks ago. It's like, whenever you're at that bottom 80%, there's always another 20%, you know, you start making, you know, two, three, four grand a day, you know, even if you're making 10 bands a month, five bands a month, you know, there's somebody that's making seven, there's somebody making 10, you know what I mean? And you start making 12, it's like, all right, well, now you get introduced to people making 25 a month, you know, and you're, you're right, you know, we start thinking we having some level of awareness. And now that's why I was happy Janelle got in the group because Janelle's around a lot of people, but Janelle's done a lot of improving within himself also. So Janelle, you could say would be in the, the top 20% of where he's at. Now, not saying he's in the bottom 80, but now he's put himself in a whole new group of like-minded people. So he's going to have even better results, even better energy, even better effort, even better momentum every single day. And so that was something Matthew was saying last week. It's like, yo, surround yourself. He even said this yesterday on the call on Sundays, like surround yourself with those people because like they will expand your perspective. They'll improve your beliefs even more, like your believability in what you're doing. So yeah, man, you're right. You hit the nail on the head with that one. And it's, uh, it's amazing, you know, what we're doing, what we're at, where we're at right now. And uh, it's a lot of, a lot of energy in our way. Let's see what Orlando said. After I go through some potential clients, I'm going to go smash my knees over toes train. Oh, knees over toes training. Oh boy. Knees over toes. Boy, I had two knee surgeries. I'm not doing knees over toes training, but I salute you. Do another, do another set for me. Uh, I got to get off this leg beastly functioning again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm riding a bike, boy. Low impact. Uh, that's what's up, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, go through and some potential clients. Like, my man's in the unknown. Like, he's in the unknown area. Like, potential clients. You know what I mean? Just trying to help people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all out here just trying to help people. We're all out here just trying to continue on. Right? Just keep on keeping on. No matter what you're doing. No matter how you look. No matter what you do. All right. You are being your best. And I need you to just keep being you, right? I don't need you to try to be me. I don't need you to try to be Jason, Janelle. I don't need you to try to be Bill Gates. I don't need you to try to be Matthew. Be you. Matthew don't want you to be him, right? We need everybody to be themselves, right? Continue to give your input. Continue to tune in. Continue to be on the sessions. Continue to just trade. No matter if you're in the background and don't say a damn thing. Don't matter if you're talking a lot. You are here. You are noticed. You are important. Like, you are a part of the overall. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what you're doing, talk about a group's as big as the, or as good as the weakest link. Like, forget the weakest link. You know what I mean? We make the weakest link stronger, damn it. Like, we are good. You know, we are here. It don't matter who you are, what kind of results you have, like what your trading plan looks like, what your FTMO account looks like. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be somebody better than you. It's always going to be somebody under you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so we are here. We are here in the best way possible. We are here like open-minded, open for new information, open for more wins, open for more blessings. And that's the only thing we can do because people start shutting off that stuff to themselves. And why? 
because of their mindset. So, you know what I mean? Keep doing your thing. Um, yeah, my man, Orlando, definitely a beast. Yeah, knees over toes guy on IG. Uh, I'm going to look him up. And uh, he had a meniscus and ACL surgery. Boy, I know somebody else that's going to need a ACL surgery here soon. Won't say his name, but, uh, but I trade with him. And uh, I had two patella tendons. Uh, my patella tendon snapped when I was playing soccer, and then it did it again. But, you know, happy to be in the position we are now, happy to have recovered. Um, if anybody else wants to say anything, you can hop, you can hop off, uh, you can unmute yourself. Uh, it's a little different today. You, you can totally do that. You can type some more things in, in the chat, how you want to take movement, anything you want to say, anybody, anything you want to say to anybody else, or if it's even some seven, 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 boom, we can put them in the chat too. Hey, What's up, I man? Just, hey man, look, check this out. So a lot of people like worry about the future and heard about the past. And I just want everybody to know that it don't matter where you at in life. It really don't matter what you're going through. It's a version of you in a different universe that's always looking to take care of you. You could call it the higher self. You could call it God, whatever you want to call it. Humans are really more than what we think we are. And I'm a living proof of that because I've been through it. I experienced it with my own two eyes, my own soul. And no matter what situation you in, you know, a lot of people like to pray to Jesus or to Buddha or to a religion. And it, it's no problem with that. But I guarantee you try this prayer once before you go to sleep. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about anything. Just say, higher self, I trust and believe you're going to provide the best future for me. I leave it in your hands because at the end of the day, you gonna get you out your situation. So trust and believe in yourself. You can be and do anything you want in this life. And it's always a version of you trying to push you towards what you supposed to be. It don't matter what situation you are in, it will get you out of that situation. You will. Living yeah. proof of that. Love yeah. you. Yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you definitely living proof. I could, yeah, I, I can attest. Uh, life is great, you know, and uh, I'm happy to be here with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm happy for everybody that's here. Energy accelerator number four. All right, we're going, we're coming back here. Energy accelerator number 44, energy accelerator number 400. You know, we love life. We're going to keep on loving life. We're going to keep on winning. We're going to keep on keeping on. And one of these days, there's 360 people in the group chat. One of these days, there's going to be a thousand people in the chat and there's going to be 360 of us that are all funded, that are all out of our jobs, that are all financially free, that are all just at home on these Zoom calls saying what's up just because we can say what's up, you know. So I love y'all. Keep doing the damn thing. All right. Keep focusing on thinking from. Right. And then doing what that person would do, thinking, feeling how that person would feel now. You know what I mean? So just just keep on keeping on, you know, keep on keeping on. and. Uh, all i got to say that's all i got to say man it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful beautiful day i'm gonna put some seven seven sevens in the chat another seven 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 because we love life and another seven 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 because we open the blessings so y'all just keep on keeping on all right um matthew gave me uh he said he gave me access uh yesterday so i gotta go through and uh confirm that to upload stuff to the google drive um so that it's more easily accessible for everybody but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep uploading these to the Google Drive. Uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on. Um, got the book club coming up on, on Saturday. We're going to give some uh, announcements, probably do a poll or something uh, on like some different books uh, to start off with. Uh, but I definitely want to hit a couple of the uh, the key books with like our mindset and stuff like that uh, in the beginning. So so yeah, just keep on keeping on. Y'all got any questions? Hit me up. Uh Hit me up, you know, hit me up, hit me up, uh, hit me up on Telegram, hit me up on Instagram. Um, if y'all do hit me up on Instagram, um, I went through and um, I'm, I'm going to start just following everybody. So uh, start following and interacting with everybody's page. Uh, so ATM Austin on Instagram, if y'all want to follow me, whatever, uh, I'll repost your stuff because um, we're all here for a family. You know what I'm saying? So we just keep on keeping on. Talk to y'all later. Peace, you know, love, abundance keep doing you, right? Keep doing you and being the best that you can be, right? Keep doing you and being the best that you can be, all right? So I'm gonna hop off here. Y'all clap easy. Have a great day. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Keep smiling.